switching operating systems feels exciting at first. New desktop, new freedom, a fresh start. Then reality taps you on the shoulder. What about your files? What about your photos? What about that one folder you've carried across computers for years? This is where most people stop. Not because Linux Mint is hard, but because losing data is terrifying. This video exists to remove that fear completely. By the end of this guide, you'll know exactly how to move from Windows to Linux Mint with your data intact, your sanity preserved, and your confidence boosted. No guessing, no rushing, no blind leaps. Just a clean, logical migration path that works. Let's start with an uncomfortable truth. Operating systems are replaceable. Your data is not. Windows can be reinstalled. Linux can be reinstalled, but family photos, work documents, and years of digital history cannot be recreated. So the first phase of this journey happens before Linux Mint even touches your machine. It starts with awareness. On a typical Windows system, almost everything that matters lives inside your user folder. Documents, pictures, videos, music, downloads, desktop files. This folder is your digital home. Then there's browser data bookmarks, saved passwords, extensions, sync accounts. And finally, there are application-specific files, project folders, exported presets, databases, anything you created not installed. Installed programs themselves don't move across operating systems. Your data does. Once you understand that difference, the migration becomes simpler than expected. Now comes the most important rule of this entire process. Never trust a single copy of your data. Before switching operating systems, you want at least one full backup that exists outside your main computer. An external hard drive is ideal. Fast, offline, under your control. A large USB drive can work for smaller data sets. Network storage works well if it's reliable. Now, with your data safe and separate, you can think clearly again. This is where Linux Mint enters the story. Downloading Linux Mint is straightforward, but verification matters more than most people realize. An installation image that downloads incorrectly can cause strange errors, failed installs, or unstable systems later. Verifying the checksum ensures what you downloaded is exactly what the developers intended. This sounds technical, but it's really just a safety seal. Once verified, you create a bootable USB drive. This USB is not installing anything yet. It's simply your preview window into Linux Mint. Booting into the live environment is one of Linux Mint's greatest strengths. You're running a full desktop without touching your existing Windows installation. This is your chance to calmly explore. Check your Wi-Fi, check sound, check display scaling, plug in your mouse and keyboard, open the file manager, get comfortable. If something feels off here, it's better to know now than after installation. Most people are surprised by how familiar Linux Mint feels. The layout makes sense. Menus behave logically. Nothing is screaming for attention. Once you're confident, installation becomes a choice, not a gamble. Now comes a critical decision point. Are you replacing Windows entirely or running both side by side? Dual booting keeps Windows available but adds complexity. A full replacement is simpler, cleaner, and faster long term. Whichever path you choose, understanding partitions matters. Separating your home folder from the system is one of the smartest long-term decisions you can make. It allows future reinstalls without touching personal data. It keeps your files independent from the operating system itself. During installation, slow down. Read each screen. Linux Mint does not rush you, and neither should you. Once installed, the first boot feels different, quieter, calmer, no pop-ups begging for attention. Before restoring anything, update the system fully. This ensures stability, security patches, and driver improvements are applied first. 
Now it's time to bring your digital life home. Connect your external drive or backup source. Linux Mint reads Windows file systems effortlessly. Your files will look exactly as you left them. Copy your data into your new home directories, documents into documents, pictures into pictures, videos into videos. This is not about perfection, it's about familiarity. Once files are in place, open them. Verify again. Reassurance matters. Browser migration is easier than most people expect. If you use a browser with account sync, signing in restores bookmarks, extensions, and settings automatically. If not, importing bookmarks from exported files works just as well. Passwords, history, and preferences come back surprisingly smoothly. At this point, something subtle happens. The fear fades. Your system feels yours again. Now comes refinement. Linux alternatives aren't replacements, they're tools with their own philosophy. LibreOffice doesn't try to be Microsoft Office, it focuses on open formats and long-term access. GIMP isn't Photoshop, it's powerful in different ways. Over time, you stop translating Windows habits, you develop Linux habits. This is where Linux Mint shines. Themes, icons, panel layouts, and behavior are all adjustable without breaking the system. You're encouraged to shape the desktop to fit your workflow. Finally, we talk about backups again. Yes, again. A new system deserves a new safety net. Linux Mint includes excellent backup tools that can automate snapshots and file backups quietly in the background. Once configured, you rarely think about them, but when something goes wrong, they're invaluable. And that's the full arc of the migration. Not dramatic, not risky, not stressful, just methodical. Switching from Windows to Linux Mint is not a leap of faith. It's a series of small, sensible steps. You don't lose control, you gain it. If you've been waiting for permission to make the switch, consider this it. Linux Mint doesn't demand perfection. It rewards curiosity. And when done right, your data never even notices the change. Your system does. Your workflow does. And over time, you might wonder why you waited so long. Welcome to Linux Mint.